All right, here's the deal. There's no time to waste. Got to move this camera to the corner, make it smaller. Then you're going to go to Chrome Music Lab. Three words. You're going to click the top link, and you're going to have a bunch of free resources you can use to experiment and make music with. My favorite is the very first one, Song Maker. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with this free resource. Now, there's three main sections you're looking at here on this blank canvas. Don't worry about these at the bottom. We'll talk about what that means. Let's go ahead and move this. Now, you have the drums on the very bottom two rows. Now, these are indicated by little circles. One row has a circle for more of a bass drum sound, right? And the top row above that has a triangle for like a snare drum sound. I apologize for the poor audio quality. I will be upgrading my equipment soon for better production value. Now, what we have to do is make the drums first. Let's go ahead and do that. You're going to do a circle, skip three. Then a triangle, skip three. Circle, skip three. Triangle, skip three. Go ahead and do that throughout your whole piece. Let's go ahead and play it. Sounds pretty good. It's a little slow. Let me go ahead and turn this guy up a little bit. We're going to turn it around 190 area. What you want to put is that is up to you. Good. That's a good medium fast tempo. Now I got my drums ready to go. Now we have to check out all these notes up here. The first is going to be a row of notes to represent the bass line, which is the lower notes. And then when it hits red, it starts over. And has no red on top. I'm sorry, but deal with it. Check it out. This is your first row of notes. Uh, from do to do, red to red, rainbow order. For the purpose of these lessons, we'll call this guy blue. I know it's teal, turquoise, whatever you call it. We're going to call it blue. So what I want you to do for the bass line, you want to click blue, skip one. Blue, skip one. Blue, skip one. Then two blue, skip one. Two blue, skip one. Then on this row right here, you're going to have to go down and find the orange after you've skipped one space. Here's an orange, then skip one, and then you're going to make a yellow. Now, we want to pause the video and go check yours to make sure yours matches mine. If it doesn't line up, it might be a little weird. Now, same thing once you finish that, repeat that pattern. Now, I have a finished bass line. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah. Money. Okay, now your job is to make a melody on top. This top row, the higher notes are going to be a melody. Now, music reads from left to right just like a book does. So the program is going to move from left to right as well. So if you have a bunch of them bunched up right here, it's going to sound too ugly. We don't want that. We want single note melodies to drift across here. I'm going to go ahead and make something up. Let's hear that first half. Nice. Pretty cool. Now, check this out. Huh. I like it. It's not my best work, but just throwing it together, I think it sounds pretty good. Now, if you like yours, you can go ahead and save it there. But if you're not happy with it, go back and edit it. Here's something else you can edit. You can edit the tempo here, like I did. Let's make it a bit slower. Here, that sounds like. Feels way different. Cool. Now you can edit the tempo. Also, you can edit these instrument sounds. But this one is going to uh, edit your drum sounds. Basically, there's a bunch to choose from. My favorite is kit, which is actual drum set, or electronic. A stick with electronic. These are your instrument sounds for all the notes. You can change that all up. I like the strings personally. Now you can play around with whatever sounds you want to use. Once you have a finished product with this drum part, this bass line, and your own created melody, you're going to go to the save button right here. On the save button, it'll have the link to your song. You just press copy link, and your link is now automatically copied. Then you're going to go to our Google Classroom post where I have this assignment and put yours in the comment section. If you want to share it with other people, go ahead and go to the YouTube video and put it in the comment section there and other people can check out what you got. Thank you for watching. I love you. Have a great day.